Hello, welcome to Memorial High School Technology Committee's video on Power School Review. In this video, we will help you figure out how to set up your Power School and copy grades from a previous year and also within a year and a class. So let's begin. So the first thing is I want you to see is that we have our grades here. This is our traditional grade calculation. We find this by going down to settings and going to traditional grade calculation. Once we have this, we're going to open it up and we're going to set it to what we like. Here we have my setup. So if I want to add another group I would or category weight, I would just go here and add. Uh, let's say a category weight of a project. And then I would just fix this accordingly to what percentages I wanted. Since I have this set up, I want to show you how once I set up one term, I can copy it to another. So I save it. And now I'll go to the next one. As you can see in the next one, I have total points. This doesn't work for my class. So I want to be able to copy within a class. So first off, I go up here to the, the gear. I see copy traditional grade calculation. So, sorry, I, here I go to within a class. So I already set up in my homeroom, find my class homeroom, in the first quarter, I have category. As you can see, I have total points here. I want to change all those. So I go to category weights. Now it says to what class do I want it? I want here in the terms in second, third, and the fourth quarter. Click validate. And now you see that the copy has been calculated and the copy has been dropped. Now we go to see if I've accomplished it. So I see that's the Q2. Q2 is set up the way I want it. Q3 is set up the way I want it, and so is Q4. So what we can do now is try and go to the next class, to the next step, and copy it to another class. So say I want to copy it to my sixth period. For this, I know I have lunch, but I just want to show you. So we're going to go to the gear once again, copy traditional grades. We're going to pick copy term to another class. This year I have it, so I have 2018. I'm going to pick my homeroom. And then I'm going to pick 2018 again. And I'm going to pick which class I want it. And I want my class to be six period lunch. I validate it. And now you see that it's been copied. So now, once I open this, you see how the box was removed? In my lunch, I have it all done. They're all done. Let's check quarter two. Same thing. Quarter three. And quarter four. And that's how you copy from one class to another. For you veteran teachers, say you want to copy from the year before. We'll do the same thing, but we'll find another class to do. Let's do my fourth period. So I scroll up till I find my fourth period here in my CPT. I open up. I can see they're not calculated. So I'm going to come up to the gear once again, copy traditional grades to another class, copy term to another class. I'm going to pick the year. I'm copying from last year. So I'm going to pick 2017, 2018. I'm going to pick the class that I want. I want it to be my, four, my first period because they all have the same category weights. Then I choose the term I want it. Since I'm going to do the whole year, I'm going to pick 2018, 2019. Select the classes that I want, and I definitely want my fourth period. Once I validate it, you'll see that these boxes behind me will disappear. Validate, copy it, and they're gone. If I open them up, there it is for each and every term. This was Juan Lugo for the Memorial High School Technology Committee. Thank you for watching our video on Power School Review. If you have any questions, please check out our MHS Technology Committee Google Classroom and leave us a message. Thank you and have a great day.